Today, one of my students, she asked me how she can update simultaneously different text layers with the same font or she want to switch the fonts to another font uh, with all the text layers. So how she can do it uh, by, you know, instantly by selecting all the layers or simultaneously for all the layers. So uh, I'm going to show you two tricks to do it. One which one of them is which I personally use and the other one is paragraph styles and character styles which I normally don't use. But I'm going to show you the both ways. So let's get started. Okay, now you can see here I have my Photoshop document and uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type something over here with this font selected. So this is my heading. Okay, I'm going to press escape and then V and I'm going to press again and create one paragraph over here and I'm going to use uh, 24 pixels and this time I'm going to change the font to some other font. Okay, so this is a bit slow because I have a lot of fonts. So let's um, select this monster art. Okay, so I'm going to go to type and paste lorem ipsum. So we have our um, text setup. Okay, so I'm going to use something else over here so I can have some other heading weight like that. Okay, so extra bold like this. Okay. Okay, so we are all done. Let's create one more iteration of this. So I'm going to create one more paragraph and one more heading. So let's select those both and control J or command J to duplicate. Okay, so now we have two headings and two paragraphs. Let's add few shapes over here. Okay, so uh, my document is set up. I am going to show you why I added these two layers over here. Okay, so uh, first thing is first. Okay, so uh, if I want to change these uh, four styles and I want to save them, and I want to reuse them, I'm going to use my paragraph styles over here. You can see this is a panel of paragraph styles. If you don't see it here over here, go to window and paragraph styles. Okay, so this is how you access them. These are character styles. They are applied for just one or two pieces of your text. For example, if you want some link over here, okay. So if you want some link or some colored link over here, maybe you want some blue color over here like this. Okay, so you can use character styles. Now how you can create this paragraph or character styles. Uh, this is very easy. Okay, so first we are going to create a heading paragraph style. Okay, so I'm going to double click it. So select the whole text like that. Okay, so select it and then go to these paragraph styles. There is one paragraph style already. So we are going to create new one, new paragraph style. And you can see I am going to double click on it. Okay, so this is my paragraph style. Okay, so I am going to name it Monsterat uh, Extra 72 Pixels, okay. So all my settings, even my color is going to be saved over here. There are more advanced settings, which I don't want to go into. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. And this is my style. Okay, so uh, what if I want to save also the style for this one? Okay, so I'm going to double click it. So select the whole text, create new paragraph style. And it is going to create a new paragraph style. I'm going to double click over here. Okay, so here we have. 24 pixels. So this time I'm going to change its um, font to something else like Museo Sense. Okay. So I'm going to choose Museo Sense 500 over here. Uh, it is almost a similar font, but I'm, I just want to go to something else. So Museo Sense 500. So I'm going to call it paragraph. Okay. So this is going to be my paragraph. Now you can see the paragraph on the left. It has a different font. Let's change the color. Okay. Let's keep this color the same. Okay, so the left font is different and the right one is different. Uh, which is my this. Okay, so I'm going to create one more style over here, which is going to be this paragraph. 
so i am going to create one oh sorry so i need to select so this is strange because it is not deleting it with my stepping back okay so now you can see i have two paragraphs and um, i just changed this back to the first uh, textile okay so if i want to apply my any of my paragraph styles to any of these uh, if even if the heading so if i select this heading and select this one you can see it is going to be shifted to museo sans 500 paragraph okay so similarly i can do the same with it and i am going to go to this one and you can see now it is showing me override now clear override means that uh, it has already applied something on it so we applied monster art extra 72 pixels so it is asking me that you want to clear the override you want to clear the previous styles so i'm going to clear them and it is going to apply it so now if i want to go back i can select again this one and uh, also for this one you can see now my paragraph is back to uh, that heading i selected okay so similarly if i want to change this paragraph i'm going to select this museo sans and i'm going to click this clear overrides so you can see the text is changed now if uh, i have like two paragraphs uh, let's change this one too okay so the both are changed now if i want to change the styles these paragraph styles of both these paragraphs simultaneously i am going to double click this one and i am going to change it over here okay so i am going to change uh, let's change it to something very different news cycle okay and uh, i am going to use um, 26 pixels also i'm going to change it to 30 pixels like that and i'm going to change it okay so now you can see that i have changed the paragraph styles simultaneously of multiple paragraphs uh, which i was using applying these paragraph styles to now if i have applied like uh, 10 or 12 uh, paragraph styles and i have applied the same paragraph styles to all those paragraphs i can change the font the styles the colors even the colors from here okay so if i want to edit the color you can see i have double clicked this one and i can change the color to uh, let's change it to this one okay so i'm going to go with this gray color and you can see it has updated it everywhere so this is one method which i normally don't use okay so uh, one more thing that these paragraph styles will be same the you can access these for one document so if i open another document over here like this one so if i just create another document you can see there are no paragraph styles now so if i shift back you can see i have two paragraph styles so if you are using artboard within one document you can access all your paragraph styles so this is a limitation Okay, so uh, this is it about paragraph styles. Also, we have character styles. They are the same. You can create the character styles the same way, these paragraph styles. Okay, now my other trick which I normally use, uh, which is I normally filter all my text layers over here. So I press this one. So now you can see I'm all, all seeing these uh, layers, okay? So what I do is I just... Um, create a marker of heading like this or maybe heading one so this is my heading one and uh, also this is my heading one okay so i always name them like that and uh, what i am going to do is so these are my paragraphs so i can name them like paragraph something like this and also this one So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select both my paragraphs, go to this character panel. Now it is not paragraph styles or character styles, it is character panel, okay? And you can see I have new cycle over here and I can change to any other font I like. Maybe I want this um, Museo font over here, okay? So I'm going to select this Museo and you can see now the font is changed. Also I can change its weight, okay? also the color over here i'm going to select this one okay 
Now you can see I have changed uh, both the paragraphs simultaneously. Also, I can do the same with the heading. Just go over here. Even if you have different fonts over here, still this is going to work. You just need to select multiple layers and uh, let me show you. So if I want this paragraph and this heading to be some other font, I just select both of them. You can see over here. Okay, so sorry. So I am going to select one paragraph and one heading. You can see now this is blank. So it means I these fonts were not matching. So I can. Okay, so there is some problem. Okay, so I am going to select both of them and I am going to switch to some other font. Maybe I want monster art. So you can see now it is changing. It is changing to regular, but I rarely you uh, do that. But uh, you can select all the layers you want and you can instantly change their font to some other font face you want. So just filter your layers with this typeface filter and it is going to show you just the type uh, type or text layers. So uh, this is my today's uh, lesson and um, a few tips about how to use paragraph styles and how to simultaneously change your text layers by selecting multiple text layers at once and using character panel uh, to switch to some other font. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Uh, there is very low light in my room right now and I just woke up. It is 2 a.m. at night. So uh, my hair and everything, I, I look terrible. But uh, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. I will keep on updating new videos like these. Uh, stay tuned and uh, see you soon.